Hey guys, I hope you're hungry. Welcome back to Full Incense. My name is Jericho, and I'm joined once again by the Iceman to finish going over the WrestleMania card and our predictions for this Sunday. Thanks for having me back. I thought about switching co-hosts. <laughs> Not having me back. Review. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so first off the bat, uh, we, we already sort of mentioned this in the last episode a little bit, but the Intercontinental title will be defended in a seven-man ladder match. Owens, Ziggler, Miz, Zack Ryder, Sin Cara, Sami Zayn, and Stardust. Oh, did you see that hero present? Are you gonna go get it? I'm gonna try. <clears throat> nope, nope. Oh. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> the bad guys wanted to be the good guy hero instead. Yeah, they're just gonna, they'd rather turn on their allies and let you have it. <laughs> um. So I'm really excited about this match. I really like all the guys in it, with the obvious and, and definite exception of Sin Cara. No, oh. <laughs> <laughs> but um, oh, was he just was he just walking by Vince when they're trying to find a, a seventh ah, guy? Math, dude. We, we need a seventh guy. <laughs> Sydney, get over here. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> they're just having a little party. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'll come back. Um. Uh, Ryder, uh, as much as I still I still love him in my heart, he doesn't belong either. And no. um, I was reading that apparently he's only even there because Neville got hurt. Yeah, believe he's been dropping banana peels backstage, hoping <laughs> hoping to injure somebody else so he can <laughs> one injury away <laughs> from making another WrestleMania card. <laughs> <laughs> but no, good for him. It'll be neat. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I think neither he nor any of the other challengers stands a chance because I think Owen will just retain. And prove why he's the prize fighter, why it's KO Mania, and all the rest of it. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I'd be honestly like, what, what, what would you say? Maybe just three of the guys have any ch real chance of winning it. Yeah, he could win. Sami Zayn could win. And then, if they just want to do something crazy, have right. um, Ziggler or Ryder. But yeah, it's really only him or Sami Zayn. So I think, uh, in saying that. Uh, really, the match isn't going to be about who wins. It's going to be about putting on an incredible show. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. And I think we see Owens cost Sami Zayn at the last second to set up them having the one-on-one -on -one match that arguably should have been at WrestleMania. I yeah, thought I would have yeah. had the U.S. title be for more than just Kalisto and Ryback in a match. No one wants well, to see. Well, yeah. I mean, besides, the Intercontinental was the ladder match last year. Right, So right. switch it up, and also... The story is already there with Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens. Even, mm -hmm. even to the casual fan, you can just throw together a highlight package real quick, you know? And right. Like, Don't try to make Ryback and Callisto a personal feud when nobody cares. Instead, invest in a, a in a real personal feud that's existed across, you know, year probably a decade at least by this time. Oh yeah. So oh, yeah. yeah, decades. Going and back three to three different companies. El Generico and Kevin Steen days. Right, right. But whatever. Um, at least at least they know that the fans get behind it. Like, that's how right. Sami Zayn returned. Yeah, and I do think that that's... Um, cool. uh, I didn't. <laughs> that was... Buddy got in my way. Dark, dark times. <laughs> um, so, yeah. That, that's, that's where they're headed, at least, is Owens and Zayn one-on-one -on, -one on WWE pay-per-view. We kind of mentioned how little we care about the U.S. title. I think... Faces win at WrestleMania, so probably Callisto will win. But I don't really care right. one way or the other. I, I want the U. I don't want either one of them to be the U.S. champion personally. Mm -hmm. Like I'm, I'm excited for somebody I care about to enter the fold after Mania. Right, like one of the many neat heels in the Intercontinental title picture, which is another reason why I wish that was between a bunch of guys. <clears throat> okay, so moving on from that, we have. Which, mm -hmm. it's sort of a mystery still if it's for the tag titles or not, because it seems as if WWE has, uh, has said it, it has said it is and has said it's not. Uh, the New Day versus the League of Nations in a three-on-four handicap match. I think it's finally confirmed that it's not for the tag titles. Okay. So, so good luck caring. Right, <laughs> right, right. Um... It not being for the tag team titles makes me think the League of Nations has somewhat more of a chance, but right. nah, nah, League of, uh, New Day's gonna win, surely, to, to cement them as faces and all the rest of it. I don't know, maybe. They, they, they do seem to put a lot more stock in the League of Nations lately as a, yeah. as a solid mid-card heel stable, and they've come into their own somewhat being able to be 
you know, to be so to be so hated against the New Day, which are so mm-hmm. universally loved right now. So they're, they're both have benefited from this. So I don't know. Maybe, maybe they will win, and that way they can get um, another title match. Although the feud started with them getting two title matches, so mm-hmm. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and OMG, it's Jim. Oh, Just throwing it out there. <laughs> OMG. Um, <laughs> I'm most excited about the New Day's uh, entrance in this one. Yeah. Like, that's going to be phenomenal. Right. That's um, easily one of my favorite parts about WrestleMania is all the special entrances. Uh-huh. <clears throat> yeah, what's, what's Triple H going to do this year? I don't know. Funny you should mention that. That's the next uh, match on my little list, but I don't know. What could he do? Um, what's what's a... Uh... What's a movie? Know. <laughs> yeah, well, what's some he's, advertising he's deal done, he can work out at the last minute? He's done Terminator, Conan the Barbarian. Uh, what else has Schwarzenegger done? Maybe he'll dress up as uh, the dad from Jingle All the Way. <laughs> no, he could be Turbo Man. Oh, my God. <laughs> With a rock and sock and jetpack. <laughs> <clears throat> Ooh, or Mr. Freeze. Oh, that'd be neat. Probably not. Nah, nah. Not nah. at all. He'll probably I, be, um, maybe it'll be like Batman inspired. That'd be really cool. I, it would. I don't know. It would. It would confuse me. <laughs> Do I love mean? Triple H or not? <laughs> oh, there's so many bad people. I'm so mad at you. Look at all the dioxys. It's gross. <laughs> it looks like pollen in the air at all times. Oh my gosh. <laughs> We're actually just slowly dying of the poison whenever we step outside. Okay, so just to make sure we say, I, I think probably New Day wins. Oh, um, I'm gonna go League of Nations. Okay. Because it's not for the titles. Right, right, yep. yep but that's the only reason. Happen. And I, I, I guess, um, not not to backtrack, but I guess that is the one reason why I would be happy it's not for the titles, is it is kind of weird that a four on three match would right. be. But that I think that's what would have made it neat because, like, yeah. it's such a weird feud, and the New Day is a, a wacky group. True. Like, make it. I don't know. I don't know anything. And there's gonna be so much um, outside interference anyway. <clears throat> Good for Skyfire 901, by the way, for just completely ignoring the fact that I threw a thermal imploder six inches from his face. <laughs> oh, he, he, he's just gonna hang tough. He just didn't care. He's like, oh, I'm fine. I'm fine. Thanks for your concern. So Triple H and Roman Reigns, the the feud that's been written ever since uh, Seth Rollins got hurt. Um, I'm not really excited about it. I don't. I don't like when the WWE feels inevitable. Right. Like, right. Right. We, we've been heading towards this certain doom mm-hmm. since Rollins got hurt. Like it's it's been written on the wall that Roman Reigns is going to beat Triple H in the main event of WrestleMania since you know, October or November. Um. So you know, just for that reason, like I'm, I'm it'll probably be a decent match. I've never. Triple H is certainly, you know, wonderful in the ring, but he's never really been quite to my tastes, and Roman Reigns certainly not either. So they'll do their spots, but I think um, it would be to this match's benefit for it to not go on last, because Lesnar and Ambrose is already going to be... I, I, I think the only way that Triple H and Reigns can really push it to the next level is for it to be especially brutal, but Lesnar and Ambrose is absolutely going to be, Intercontinental title will probably be, and Undertaker and Shane McMahon will be too. Right. So I think the earlier in the show this match goes, the better it will be, um, especially since um, if they're going to end. That, that's why you keep dying. Is <laughs> this entire gaggle of rebels is just chilling in the hallway? Yeah, you know, we don't we don't care at all about starting the shipment. We're just. No, that, right. that, the pollen got to you. <laughs> <laughs> Can we talk about how I I, I killed uh, Sky? Fire 901, Sky Power, oh, whatever should, his name is, I killed sure him. He's dead. He's dead now. <clears throat> I, I, uh, I made him sad yeah, for a for second. Just one minute. Who's <laughs> missed that jerk I've killed 18 times? Hell of a minute, though. Hell of a <laughs> hell minute. Of a minute. <clears throat> so, yeah, um, especially since Reigns going over is not going to be well received, I don't guess, um, by, the, by the notoriously smarky WrestleMania crowd. So, again, yeah. the earlier in the show, the better. Right. And I don't think it will close the show. I think that's um, going to be Undertaker and Shane. Don't you agree? It, it certainly would make sense for it, too, because that's the match with the bigger stakes and certainly the match that I would hazard to guess more people want to see. Yes. Yes, definitely. For the same reason we were just saying, just the inevitability. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, Roman Reigns will win. I think... 
Yes, yes, absolutely, 100%. The biggest shock of the night will be if Roman Reigns loses. Yeah, true. That's including any special surprises or wacky stunts that Shane McMahon pulls. I was also down three people, so I'm gonna I'm gonna chalk it up to that as well. Call that a W. Skyfire 901. There you go. Okay, so I'm gonna take the reins one more time. Oh, the Roman reins oh. one more time. <laughs> Please don't. Please don't. As we wrap up uh, our discussion here. So yeah, uh, reins will win. Uh, just out of curiosity, what what's his first title feud afterwards? I guess Triple H will probably get a rematch, but maybe yeah. not. Maybe he'll just go away for a little while afterwards, and Reigns will do right. play with somebody else. Especially if Shane McMahon has control of the company. No, yeah, true, true. Triple H isn't going to hang around for that. First title feud. Uh, contrary to every negative comment I've made today, I, I like to remain optimistic. So I'm going to go with Bray Wyatt. Okay, cool. I like it. And that's that's why he's doing nothing is they're just keeping him held off till then. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, oh, <laughs> yay! <laughs> <clears throat> um, I'm gonna say completely out there guess Samoa Joe will be his first heel challenger after he de debuts Ooh. the night after WrestleMania. That would be super hot. Yeah. H a w t. <laughs> Soft, hot, <laughs> but nah, probably not. <laughs> probably just Triple H for three more probably, months. Yeah. <laughs> but as as far as a safe guess, I would say maybe somebody in the league that hasn't really had a title match, Del Rio. That'd, that'd be kind of cool. That'd be nice. It depends on how on what happens between the league and the um the new day. If if <clears throat> if their position on the card where that would be possible, right. <laughs> Not that somebody's position on the card <laughs> really denotes, anything. right? Just ask Sheamus' WWE title reigns <laughs> ever. Okay, so the next world title that's on the line is the Divas Championship between yes. Charlotte, Becky Lynch, and Sasha Banks. I hope people are as excited about this as I am. I, I before they announced the Hell in a Cell match, when it looked like this was going to be the, the the Divas match, like this was the, my most looked forward to. This is mm -hmm. this is three of the four horsewomen of NXT, and anybody who keeps up with NXT knows what these women can do. Like it's it's going to be great if they're given the time. I'm usually really good with Greedo, that's why I was excited. I'm, I'm sorry about what just <laughs> happened. In my defense, I was immediately <laughs> the other two died in, in seconds. Um, yes, I'm. Super, super excited. And, and I, I, we were saying yesterday as we watched Raw that this is really um, <clears throat> Monday when we watched Raw, I should say. It, it's funny how the two matches at WrestleMania show how WWE feels about Divas. So we have the 10 Divas match that doesn't really mean anything that's thrown together. It feels um, forced into the show so everybody can have a match. And then we have, you know, the best of the best. Mm -hmm. um, for the title match, but at least they they have the decency that the title match is with the divas that can work, and yeah, then they have yeah. <laughs> the garbage yeah. for the for the garbage. <laughs> no offense to Natalia Page or Emma. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Plenty of offense to Summer Rae. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's kind of like a, a a perfect representation of what the divas used to be versus what the divas are becoming. Mm -hmm. So who's gonna win? God, I, I, I'm trying to put my personal feelings aside because Sasha Banks is literally my favorite wrestler right now. But and as much as I wanted to have her her Mania win, I think it makes more sense for Charlotte to win by pinning Becky Lynch or making Becky Lynch tap out, getting her out of the picture, and then just be Charlotte and Sasha at the next pay-per-view and Sasha will take the title there. Either way, I feel like Sasha, regardless of my personal feelings, will take the championship before the feud is over. Mm -hmm. Yes, I, I agree. It's it's Sasha's time. And I think, I don't think she'll make her tap because it makes Becky look too weak and, and uh, submission finishers are always weird in triple threat matches because how is the other person that disabled that they can't come and do anything to break it up? I'm disabled. <laughs> I'm disabled. <laughs> but, um, it's my response. But yeah, I, I think you're right. Charlotte will one way or the other beat Becky, mm -hmm. so that it can be one on one. Moving on for the uh, for the Divas title feud, <clears throat> but I hope I'm wrong. Just personally, I hope Sasha just ruined. 
Last but not least, we have the, I would say, the most unpredictable match on the show, uh, The Undertaker versus Shane McMahon. And what a world that we live in that that is the most unpredictable one now at WrestleMania. Right, right. <laughs> Undertaker! <laughs> <laughs> but he's lost once. So, I mean, he could, he could lose every single time, and I don't think it matters now. Luke wanted to kill me so bad. He's uh... never going to get to. <laughs> <laughs> You know what I mean? Would, would, would you agree with that? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I, I think that there still is a lore, and he still shouldn't lose for no good reason. Right, but, right. But yeah, it, it won't... You won't see any shocked Undertaker guy faces if he loses. <laughs> right. This this match, is this is going to be the one that has all the bells and whistles, I think. Just, mm -hmm. the, just the just weapons and stunts and probably interference from... Anybody and everybody. I mean, I know there's yeah. rumors that like Shawn Michaels and Mick Foley and Stone Cold are all going to be part of it. Maybe That's John crazy. Cena gets involved. I mean, he can't wrestle, but he can still have a run in. I think. Right. He never could wrestle. Oh, 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 oh that's just oh. not true. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, I agree. I think this is this is this is the showcase. This will definitely be the last match, as it should be. Well, not definitely. I guess I guess Triple H and Reigns could be last, but I mm -hmm. hope not. And I don't think that's the best choice to make for a, a variety of reasons. But, but it's literally the fate of the company versus the fate of the Undertaker's career. Mm -hmm. That's bigger than the championship. Nothing really should be bigger than the championship, but this is, right. in my opinion. Yep, I agree. I don't know where I'm going. Oh, I blocked my fire, Luke. Ow. <laughs> I will. You will. Ah, oh, you wounded him. Oh, he's so scary. I just want to leave. I'm sorry, sir. <laughs> okay, so who's going to win? I'm going to go with Shane McMahon. Yeah? Reasoning is, is why, why even talk about... The, Hi, I'm back. <laughs> oh, oh. oh. <laughs> well, robot chicken reference there for you, yeah, you folks who haven't seen it. Have that with your morning coffee. <laughs> uh, because why? Why talk about uh, control going to someone else? Why even bring it up? Why make that a stipulation if you're not going to change it? Because and also, if Shane McMahon has control of the company, he can just hire the Undertaker back. Yeah, he'll immediately become the hottest free agent in the history of professional wrestling. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, Skyfire. Ooh, what if? Now, now we're going into the what if territory. Uh -huh. I'll try and keep it brief. Okay, so Shane McMahon wins. Really, he just wants control of Raw, right? Yeah, that's 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 literally always it. He hasn't even said the company. He's always said Raw, very pointedly, <laughs> which is one reason why all the new brand split uh, rumors have been flying around, because they think, well, I'll just take SmackDown, is what uh, right, Vince right. will say. So going with those rumors of the, the brand split, and you saying The Undertaker's the hottest free agent in the company, what if they do... Uh, a, a draft and Undertaker's pick number one, and like uh, that's what they call him, the hottest free agent in the world. Uh huh. It, I mean, it, it it would be literally true. I don't know. It's so hard to say. My my, you know, fond what if hope that will never happen in a million years is Sting interferes to cost Undertaker, mm -hmm. and then Shane is like, I can't hire you back because this was already made. It's in your contract. There's nothing I can do. But if you want to have an unsanctioned match against Sting next year at WrestleMania to end both of your careers... Oh my gosh. That's <laughs> no that's, hair off my back. <laughs> that's the dream. But nah, Sting's retired. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Take that, Skyfire. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I don't think that Shane McMahon will win. Okay. I think that somehow he will still get control. Mm-hmm. Like, maybe, maybe Vince will be involved somehow, and then Undertaker will... I, I don't know. I don't know. There's really no telling what could happen. You know, right. Not just the finish, but in general. I guess the big question is, will Shane be sticking around past Mania? Because if this is just a one-shot deal, then the point is moot. Right. Which it really, really could have been. It seems like this was, uh, this was the, the result of... Uh, Plans changing due to injuries. Right, right. Shane because, McMahon coming back in the first place. Because they would have done Cena and Undertaker was the, was the rumor for a long time. Right. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna say Undertaker wins because I, I think there is still some prestige, and it it would still be kind of crazy for Undertaker to lose to a guy like Shane McMahon. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's a, it, it, if Shane. Going back to my prediction, if Shane did win, it would be the result of many, many people uh, interfering on his behalf. 
He's, he's right. not just going to beat The Undertaker. Uh-uh. 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 Only Brock Lesnar gets to do that. <laughs> right. <laughs> With ease and whenever he wants. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that wraps up the card. Um, I think it's going to be an okay WrestleMania. I, I want there to be a surprise that it, I feel, besides the Divas title and Undertaker and Shane McMahon, I feel like every every match is easily predictable. Right. I guess the Andre Battle Royal because we don't know who's in it. Mm-hmm. But um, we don't care anyway. So, I want there to be something. I want there to be a surprise. I want to be proven wrong about how predictable that this has seemed for months and how much I've felt that I knew the course of the company for a long time now. They've surprised us before. I mean, even last year at Mania. Uh, I mean, the build was was all right, kind of mm-hmm. like this year, but the show was spectacular. It's one of my favorite WrestleManias yep, ever. Definitely, it's a super super good one. That was when when Rollins cashed in, right? Yeah, right. And that was that was a crazy one of the biggest WrestleMania surprises ever. I, I would call that the biggest cash in since the first time ever. Since the first time Edge did it. What am I stuck on? There's a, a rock. Vader has problem with those. <laughs> the rock. <laughs> oh yeah, he'll be there too. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, he's gonna do something uh, history making. Uh huh. He's gonna cut the longest promo in WrestleMania history. Uh huh. Breaking his old record. <laughs> force a match off the card. <laughs> you gotta believe Callisto and Ryback <laughs> are gonna be backstage clutching <laughs> stopwatches and rosaries. Rock needs forty-five minutes to run his mouth. Sorry, guys. <laughs> you lose today. <laughs> so scared okay so uh, I guess that's gonna wrap things up for us thank you so much for watching Um, go back and watch part one if you missed it where we talk about the rest of the Wrestlemania card although I'll be fair it's the less exciting half (laughs) (laughs) Um, thank you so much to Iceman for joining me and I believe we might be able to do a review together as well we'll have to see how our schedules work out but that's the plan as of right now so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that should be the Tuesday after Wrestlemania Um, Don't miss any of my other content. I have at least one video every single day. And thank you so much for watching. Hit that like button. Hit that dislike button. Let us know what you enjoyed or didn't enjoy. And I don't know about you guys, but we're full.